Yum, yum. William Vaughn here with a quick introduction to motion paths and moto. Motion paths are a great way to visualize the way an item moves over time within a scene. To add a motion path to an item, simply select the item, click on the motion path button to open the motion path palette, and click add motion path. The green section of the path represents the time behind the item, and the purple path represents time in front of the item. The time in and out options control the number of keyframes displayed before and after the current location. The show frames and show keys option control the visibility of the small frame step tick marks on the path and the white keyframes. The draw scale value determines the thickness of the motion path ribbon. To modify the path directly in the 3D viewport, enable the edit motion path option. Each keyframe will be displayed as small cyan cubes and you can drag these cubes to reposition them. Tangent handles will show on the selected keys and you can drag the tangent handles to adjust the curvature of the incoming and outgoing curve. Right-clicking and dragging the handles adjusts the easing in and out of the key. You can define whether the path displays with the Enable option. With Off, Moto never draws the path. With On, Moto always draws the path. And with Selected, Moto draws the path only when the mesh item is selected. To disable the motion path, use the Remove Motion Path option. Oh, look at the time.